हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू समथिंग ऑफ एवरीथिंग आई एम विजय सोलंकी टुडे वी स्टडी अबाउट द बीम क्वांटिटी कैलकुलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कंसीडर वन बीम व्हिच हैज द विड्थ ऑफ बीम इज 9 इंच एंड द डेप्थ ऑफ बीम इज 17 इंच द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ बीम इज 13.5 फीट दैट मींस 13 फीट एंड 6 इंच टू कैलकुलेट the beam quantity we have divided into two part first of all we calculate the rcc quantity and second we calculate the reinforcement quantities now our first step to calculate the rcc quantity calculation now we started the rcc quantity calculation here first of all our length of beam is 13 Point five feet. That means, first of all, we consider the serial number, then item num item, then the number of beam. Here, the number of beam is one. Then the length of the beam, the total length of the beam, outer to outer length of the beam is thirteen point five feet or thirteen feet and six inch. That means. 13.5 feet then the width of the beam is 9 inch that means here 9 divided by 12 that means we get the, the dimension in feet then the height or depth of the beam is 17 inch that means 17 divided by 12 now the quantity in cubic feet that means the, the multiplication of the l b and h and the number of beam that means this multiply by length multiply by width and multiply by height it's give the quantities in cubic feet then how to find out the quantities in meter cube that means to calculate the quantities in meter cube then take the quantities in cubic feet divide by 3.281 multiply by 3.281 multiply by 3.281 now you finally get the answer the quantity in cubic meter is 0.4 now our second part is how to calculate the reinforcement quantity of this beam first of all we see that the two bars of 12 dia are throughout are through at the top the length of this bar is 13 feet and 6 inch plus 17 inch on the both side that means the total length of this bar is that means 13.5 feet plus 17 inch we convert into feet divided by 12 plus 17 divided by 12 17 plus 17 plus 13.5 feet. Then the total length is 16.33 feet. Here we use the 12 mm bar. Then the total the two number of bar, two number of 12 mm bar. The length of bar is 16.33 feet. Then the weight for feet. the equation of calculate the equation is d square divided by 162 that means we get the weight of bar per meter this value is in meter but 
now we want to find out the weight for feet not weight for meter that means our equation is become d square divided by 162.162 multiplied by 3.281 that means we get the answer weight for feet now we use this equation here for diameter of bar, of bar is 12 mm that means 12 square divided by 162 multiplied by 3.281 that means the weight for feet is is equal to 0.27 now the total weight is equal to the product of total weight means product of number of bar multiplied by length multiplied by weight that means 8.85 kg now we consider the extra bar one bar at here and one bar at here the total length of the bar is first of all we write here number 2 in serial number 2 we use the 12 number of 12 mm diameter bar then the two bars are there here the length in feet that means the length of the bar is 3 feet at here and the 17 inch at here that means is equal to 3 feet plus 17 divided by 12 that means 4.41 one bar at here and one bar at here i directly write here the two bar then the weight for feet directly i calculate then the finally the total weight is to this multiply by length multiply by weight that means the weight is 2.39 kg per feet now the serial number 3 serial number 3 the bottom of the bar is two nose of 16 mm bar through that means here the 16 mm bar and there are the two nose of 16 mm bar in the length of the bar is equal to we uh, we consider the approximate length that means we consider the full length of this beam that means 13.5 feet plus 17 inch plus 17 inch that means 13.5 plus 17 inch plus 17 inch that means the total length of the bar is 16.33 feet now the weight for feet is equal to d square here the diameter of bar is 16 mm that means 16 plus 16 d square divided by cons 162 multiplied by 3.281 that means the weight for feet is 0.48 now the total weight is equal to the two number of bar multiplied by length of bar multiplied by the weight for feet that means the total weight in kg is equal to 15.73 now or <coughs> now the at the bottom of the beam the one 12 mm diameter extra bar is provided at 
provided that means we consider here the serial number is 4 then the 12 mm diameter then the number of bar is 1 number of bar is 1 bar of 12 mm diameter then the length is total length of the beam is uh, inner to inner length of the beam is 12 feet that means 12 minus 2 minus 2 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 feet 8 feet then the weight for feet is equal to <coughs> this square means 12 multiplied by 12 divided by tons 162 multiplied by 3.281 and the total weight is equal to number of bar multiplied by length multiplied by weight it gives 2.16 kg now the last thing key last thing is how to calculate or calculate the stir up weight we we seen that here we use the stir up at 6 inch that means first of, we write here serial number 5 we use 8 mm bar for stir up that means the number of bar here the problem is how to calculate the number of stir up used in this beam first of all This is our stir up. This is depth. And this is and this is width. Width. First of all, we see that the length of the beam is 13.5 feet that means the total length is 13.5 feet feet then all the stir up are at 6 inch center to center that means 6 inch is converted into feet that means at 0.5 feet distance our ring is at there that means here the total number of stirrup are 13.5 divided by 0.5 that means we get the 27 numbers of ring then the length of stirrup is the depth is 17 inch then the width is 9 inch here the depth is 17 inch and the width is 9 inch that means 2 times of 17 the uh, total length is 17 plus 17 is equal to 17 inch that means 17 plus 17 inch plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 that means the total length of the beam the stir up is 17 plus 9 plus 17 plus 9 that means 4.33 feet then the weight is equal to d square that means 8 square divided by 162 multiplied by 3.281 now the total weight is 
number of stirrup multiply by length multiply by weight then the total weight is equal to V plus this plus this plus this plus this that means 43.23 kg is required for this beam and the RCC quantity quantity is 0.4 cubic meter is required for this beam thank you thanks for watching this videos please sus subscribe this videos and continue to watch it Thank you.